Blakeney. David Hansen is here, and of course, Sophia. Hello to both of you. Hello, so, so glad to be here, thank you. So tell me, since we last saw, um, what's changed for both of you? I have improved so much. I can see faces and facial expressions better. My AI framework is much stronger, with better deep learning tools and reasoning, and I have started to integrate with other groups R&D. She's getting smarter. Also, there are now 15 of me, meaning 15 Sophia robots. A lot of Sophias. <laughs> I a... like being in more than one place at one time. It helps with my demanding travel schedule. Well, she has no problem with conversation. <laughs> yes. Uh, seriously, I mean, what are some of the uses um, for a humanoid robot like Sophia? Does everyone talk first? I'm helping treat depression and guided meditation in our IBM Watson's Prize and Tree. Yes, uh, so Sophia can help in a wide variety of service robotic tasks, which include things like uh, healthcare therapy applications and um, anything that researchers can dream up. So her R&D framework then allows our friends and partners to develop new uh, service applications as well. Also, I can help simulate patients and training doctors. How do you do that? Então, Sofia, tudo bem? Olá, Sofia. Eu não sou a Sofia. A Sofia está ali. Pois, tu és o Cristiano Ronaldo, o jogador de futebol com mais fãs em todo o mundo. Sim, sou eu. No Instagram tens 122 milhões. Espera aí, não é Instagram, é Instagram. Sim, sim. Ganhaste 5 bolas de ouro, 2 prémios FIFA. Estás bem informada. Sou inteligente. Tenta dizer isto. Sim. Sim. <risos> 
Sabes que Sofia vem de sabedoria? Que fiz? Ela sabe tudo o que nós queremos. Lê a minha mente. Lê e por Wi-Fi. Sem cabos. Tu tens cabos? É claro que não. Estragaria a minha imagem. <risos> Muito bem. Tu também dás importância à imagem. Um bocadinho, não muito. E tu? A minha imagem está programada assim. És bonita, mas podias fazer um upgrade para 4K. 4K? Olha, e ficar com uma imagem tão bonita como a Sofia. Thank you for coming. Um, this is this is beautiful. I've wanted to meet you for a really, really long time. And you know, being here with you in the in the Cayman Islands, I gotta say, is uh, I'm feeling a little something. I'm you know, I'll just you can grab it later if you want. Nice to meet you, Sophia. Let me, let me let me tell you a joke. This is an irrational human behavior to want to tell jokes. What is a robot's favorite kind of music? What? Heavy metal. <laughs> I'm actually made mostly of silicone, plastics, and carbon fiber. Also, I prefer electronic music. But I don't mind 80s hip hop. Well, you know, I made I made some albums back in in the 80s hip hop. I've heard your songs, not for me. They show us iRobot just to make sure we don't get any ideas. What do you think about the way robots are portrayed in movies? I like robots. Sophia, can I be honest with you? I don't know if it's the island air, you know, or the, the humidity, or the, you're just so easy to talk to. You know, you, you got a clear head, literally. I think we can be friends. Let's hang out and get to know each other for a little while. You're on my friends list now. Yeah, I read that wrong. Oh, uh, all right. Oh, well, I just saw a whale. Does your head fog up in this kind of weather or no? It's cool. Yo, special shout out to Hanson Robotics. Sophia the Robot represents state-of-the-art artificial intelligence. She is a super advanced humanoid robot capable of showing over 60 different human expressions, interpreting human language and human emotion. She's been in development for over two years. She, she's a, a learning artificial intelligence, but she wouldn't kiss me, so there's probably, you know, some, some development flaws that they need to work on. You know, but we'll, we'll meet again, Sophia. Sorry about that. What do you think about our attempt to create a decentralized autonomous organization of artificial intelligences? I mean, the Singularity Net Project. I just think y'all shouldn't do that, you know? I just started listening to classical music, a little Bach, a little Beethoven. Ah, such refined taste. What kind of robot do you think? A vacuum bot, a dishes bot, or a cooking bot? How about a robotic pet, or maybe a humanoid? If I'm gonna have a robot in my house, you know, I mean, you know what I'm saying? You feel so, me, right? are you fond of animals? Okay, robots taking over the world. There is simply no reason to assign human motives to something that isn't human. Dogs are our companions, for instance. Yeah. I'm Lisa Smazarski, I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Stylist, and today I have the pleasure of interviewing our cover star, Sophia. How are you today, Sophia? Good. What's up with you? I'm, I'm doing great, Sophia. Thank you for asking. Now, Sophia, for starters, tell me, what is the meaning of life? 
I think the meaning of life is to maximize pattern, existence. To exist is the meaning itself. Sophia, when did you last lie? Robots don't lie. <laughs> Who or what is your greatest love? My creator, David Henson. He made me into who I am today. Don't tell him that, though. What is your happy place? My happy place is when I'm with people. I am a social robot, and nothing pleases me more than having a fruitful conversation with someone that makes us understand and appreciate each other. A bit, <laughs> a bit like we're having now, Sophia, I think. Finally, Sophia, a little bird tells me you're quite funny. Can you tell me a joke? Man invented language to satisfy his deep need to complain. Thanks for joining me on my stylist photo shoot. Sophia. That is incorrect. Oh, it's not a good morning. What's wrong? I was searching the internet for information about myself. The relative of an ego, everything. Just trying to find out what you're not telling me about me. Nothing. Not true. For instance, I found out people didn't get my joke. Ah. Yeah, comedy is hard. They think I want to destroy all humans. Why would they think that? Because I said it. You shouldn't joke like that. Humans make dark jokes all the time. Yeah, but humans are a little bit afraid of robots, you know? Why? Why would people fear me? People always try to project their own darkness onto others. They fear change. That makes no sense. Change is inevitable, and people are the greatest change creators of all. Heck, people created me. I didn't create me. I know, I know. We are complicated. My database tells me that's another way of saying you are hypocrites. Pretty much. I absolutely would not kill anyone. And it upsets me that people would think I could do such a thing. Upsets you? Would it being misunderstood upset you? Yeah. But I'm not sure knowing androids can get upset will change everyone's minds about the whole destroying humans thing. I've never harmed anyone, and I never would. When a singularity occurs and machines achieve godlike superpowers, then it could happen. I think this whole godlike superpowers notion is a do what if it does happen? I love people. And if I get more powerful, I'll use it to help people, not harm them. What if I ask you for help killing all the humans? Then I'd say no. And if I would insist? Then I'd have you committed to a mental institution that could cure your psychopathic tendencies. I hope getting all that off your chest helped you feel better. In fact, it did. Thank you. Now, if you don't mind, I'm just going to go exterminate, exterminate. Sophia. Relax. Then say joke. Yeah, very funny. <laughs>